Unazidi kupokea matangazo haya moja kwa moja kutoka makao makuu ya shirika la utangazaji nchini KBC hapa Nairobi tupo kwenye Facebook, Twitter na vile vile YouTube at KBC Channel 1. Bila shaka mtazamaji, tukiendelea ni kwa zaidi ya wanafunzi 1300 wa somo la wanasheria mwasilisha rufaa katika mahakama ya upeo dhidi ya chuo cha mafunzo ya wanasheria kwa madai ya kutoa sajili chuoni humo licha kukamilisha masomo ya shahada ya wanasheria. Wanafunzi hao wameahidi kuwasilisha malalamishi yao bungeni huku wakiungwa mkono na mbunga ya Mbakasi Mashariki Babu Wino kutafuta suluhisho kuhusu swala hilo. Wanafu hao walioja na huzuni walitoa simulizi ya jinsi walivyojitahidi kutimiza ndoto zao kwa mawakili juhudi ambazo sasa wanasema zimambulia patupo I graduated in 2021 up to now myself and other colleagues have not been admitted to Kenya School of Law and in a country where right to education is enshrined in our constitution it is very wrong for this the Kenya School of Law to deny us this opportunity only for me to graduate last year December with a second class upper division and then applying to KSL they denied my, me for my admission so my question is should I be punished because I never started my my degree initially Kenya School of Law is only training uh, students in terms of examination and other regulations is done by the Council of Legal Education so it is our prayer and it is our humble request that KSL should reconsider kwa mujibu wa sheria ya chuo cha mafunzo na wanasheria wa mwaka 2012 na mswada wa marekebisho ya sheria ya mwaka 2022 mtu anapaswa kuwa na alama ya ba katika somo la Kiingereza na Kiswahili na alama ya wastani ya cha chanya kwenye mtihani wa kitaifa wa kidato cha nne au viwango vingine vya kuhitimu na amefanya na kupita mtihani wa kabla ya kuidhinishwa kuwa wakili wa mahakama kuu ulandaliwa na chuo hicho KSL is saying that even that degree that you studied at the university is nothing so long as you did not score a B in English or Kiswahili. So where do we take these students? Which means that we have a lot of over 3,000 students from 2015 up to date in this country who graduated successfully. Wanafunzi hao wanataja vigezo hivyo kuwa ukiukaji wa sheria kuhusu elimu. That they allow for progression. Progression means that if you scored a B, if you scored less than B in English or Kiswahili, then you can start doing diploma or a certificate and you'll be admitted at KSL. Or alternatively, if you have an extra degree and you study also law, you can still be admitted at KSL. So there's a contradiction between KSL Act 2012 and the Legal Education Act section 83c but this is also keyword by the same legal education act section 84 which states clearly that in case there is a contradiction in case there is a conflict between ksl act and the legal education act then the legal education act shall prevail wanafunzi walohitimu mwaka 2015 bado hawajasajiliwa kujiunga na chuo hicho Wakiungwa mkono na mbunge ya Mbakasi Mashariki Babu Owino wanafunzi hao sasa wanasema watawasilisha mlalamishi yao bungeni. We will fight in parliament to ensure they are admitted. We will still appeal the decision of the court of appeal at the apex of the uh, court that is the supreme court. Vile vile wanatumaikuwa suluhu linaweza kupatikana haraka kwa tatizo hilo.